in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is the basics uh, of rigging the character where you'll just get a kind of an idea of how you will start uh, rigging a simple character so this is uh, a mesh that you're going to use it's an astronaut and ideally for rigging you want you wouldn't use something uh, like this just because it is a non-symmetric uh, character in a pose which will make it way more harder to rig uh, what you want is usually a t-pose so that will look like this so you have his body and then his, his hand will be like this or the hand are usually like this so depending on uh, the model you're using you'll be using this and this makes it really easy to maybe rig just one side of the body and then copy this and put it onto the other side of the body this you will also do with legs but since this is an intro tutorial I'm just going to show you I'll just rig part of this character and just show you how you can start working uh, with rigging so first thing that we're going to do is click shift A or you can also go ahead in here but I'm going to use the shortcut and we are going to click on armature and what happens when you click on armature is that we get this bone now our character is really big so let's first scale him down so let's click S and then 0 0.01 and let's click delete on the uh, numpad and this gives us a character that is more appropriate size now if I click N we can see that his scale now is, way uh, is 0 0.01 but we want it to be 1 Click the rotation and scale and now we can see that this character is a property size so his head is 1.82 meters which is an average size for a male so this is good let's get our bone and let's click on the armature in here uh, now what I want to do first is to kind of see this bone better since it gets occluded by our character so putting this bone in his leg or something will make it way less visible and it will be harder to work with so what we want to do is click on the bone and then go to viewport display and in here we want to click in front so this will make the bone always be in front of our character now let's click one on the numpad which will put us in front and let's click tab to go into edit mode while we have bone selected now if I click S I can scale my bone and click G to move it and now I will put it in here so usually you will have your pelvis bone uh, you can also have a root bone if you want so how bones usually work will, would be with uh, as a hierarchy so you would have your one bone and then you'll have another bone that is attached to this bone so when this bone rotates uh, this bone also rotates the same way so if I now click shift D I'm gonna duplicate my bone and let's make it like this and now you can see that it is not uh, working so if I move we can see that our leg bone is not moving but if I select the leg bone and click in bones here and then relations we can set the parent now we know that our parent is bone uh, bone because we have this uh, suffix at the end that was added after the bone was created so let's click this now we can see this line that represents that these two bones are connected so if I click shift tab and go to pose mode and go to this bone we can see that the two bones are connected so that means that this one will work separately but the parent bone will pull the child bone with it so let's click tab and let's create another bone for the lower leg now if we click 3 on the numpad or let's click control 3 uh, we'll see that our bones are not properly set up so I'm just going to do that and now let's click E to pull this part of the bone and I'm putting basically on the uh, in between two bones so where the bones would normally bend uh, and let's click sh uh, and let's hold shift and select all three of them like, let's click shift D and we can just duplicate and move it and we can see that also the relation was kept so the blender knew that we wanted to leave that out now if our character was symmetrical this would be a bit easier to do because we could just copy and then scale it to other side but since it's not we're just going to pull things a little bit now let's click GX, we can also move it just on one axis and this way we have a simple character uh, rig for the legs now let's click control tab and go to object mode now if we go to our character and then click on the bone we can click control P and this way we can attach our uh, our character to the bone so you always have to have the 
character selected first, hold shift and then click the armature. And you can see by the outline that the character is red and the armature is yellow. So let's click control P again. And now we need to set parent uh, to our skeleton, but since we are attaching mesh to a rig, we get some additional options. So we could do uh, armature deform with empty groups, which means that uh, there will be groups for these bones created, but the bones would not be attached. But what we are going to do is with automatic ways, this means that Blender will automatically try to figure out uh, which parts of the mesh we want to connect it to which bone. Uh, right now it will probably look a bit weird when it go up, but the legs should work. So let's click this. Now let's click on our bones, control tab to go into pose mode. Of course I'm using shortcuts, but you can also go in pose mode from here. And now let's try to move and we can see that in general it is working. Of course, since there is no bones in here and Blender had to figure out this, where to attach these parts of the mesh, it's, it might look a bit weird. But in general we have things uh, attached as we would like. And automatic uh, bone uh, automatic deform, automatic uh, uh, connection basically will make it a bit lower quality. So we can see that some parts we don't want them to bend like this. It kind of looks uh, weird like this part. Uh, but in general it does a decent job as a start uh, to work with your mesh. So we kind of in just a minute we have like a simple rig created. Uh, now if you wanted to edit this rig let's say you want to customly uh, weight paint your mesh what you can do is click on your mesh click control tab and then weight paint and this way what you can do is if we actually go control tab uh, let's select first the mesh uh, or the bones and then the mesh control tab and then weight paint uh, what we can do is if i control click on one of the bones i can select and see what this bone controls so we can see here this bone controls the foot, but maybe for some reason we wanted it to control the whole foot. I could start painting the parts that I wanted to control. Now, there might be some options that you would want to change about your brush. Maybe I want to paint through, so when I paint in here, it also paints all of this. And for that you can change it in here. So if you go up here, we have all of these advanced options of we don't want front faces and we also one projected file of. I think now we should be able to paint through. So you can see I painted also this part. Uh, and let's control click here so you can see how we can start managing what we do. And I can also click R and test and now it looks a bit better where this part uh, does not uh, kind of uh, squeeze and become smaller. So I can control click and we can see some parts were not selected so maybe this part is really important and we want it to be to not go through so let's try to paint this and now if I move it should move with the leg so this is kind of the basic setup uh, for you to start working with uh, character rigging